Hello there everyone, it is almost November and that means it's time for another Animal Crossing New Horizons Fish, Bugs and Deep Sea Creatures update. As I just said, it's almost November, I can't believe how much of this year has flown by. I don't want to say it's nearly Christmas, but it's nearly Christmas. And today we'll be looking at all the new critters arriving in Animal Crossing at the start of November. Before we dive into the video, if you could leave a like, leave a comment, and hit subscribe if you enjoy the content, it would mean the world to me. I upload gaming content every single week. At the moment, it's a lot of spooky content because it's nearly Halloween, but normally there's VR, horror, indie games, Animal Crossing stuff, all kinds of things, and all support is much appreciated. Right, let's jump into the update. Okay, as always, we'll start with the Northern Hemisphere and we'll start with the fish. First up is the Bitterling. It's a shadow size one, can be caught all day long, is found in rivers and is worth 900 bells. The Blowfish is a shadow size three, can be caught between 9 p.m. and 4 a.m., is found in the sea and is worth 5,000 bells. The Tuna is a shadow size six, can be caught all day long, is found by fishing off of your pier and is worth 7,000 bells. The Blue Marlin is also a shadow size 6, can be caught all day long and is found again by fishing off of your pier and is worth 10,000 bells. And finally for the Northern Hemisphere, the Football Fish, shadow size 4, can be caught between 4pm and 9am, is found in the sea and is worth 2,500 bells. That's it for fish, just 5 of them, let's check out the bugs. First up for the Northern Hemisphere is the Damselfly, can be caught all day long, is found flying around in the air and is worth 5,000 bells. The Mole Cricket can be caught all day long, is found underground. You'll hear this, it makes a little noise. When you hear that noise and you're close to it, dig with your shovel and you should find one. If you don't find one, just keep digging around where you hear the noise. And this is worth 500 bells. And finally in the Northern Hemisphere for bugs is the Tarantula. Can be caught between 7pm and 4am, found scurrying around on the ground and is worth 8,000 bells. That's it for the bugs, let's check out the deep sea creatures. First up is the Dungeness Crab, has a shadow size medium, can be caught all day long, has a moderate speed or medium speed consistent movement pattern, and is worth 1,900 bells. The Red King Crab is a shadow size large, can be caught all day long, has a quick movement pattern, and is worth 8,000 bells. The Sea Cucumber is a shadow size medium, can be caught all day long, has a slow consistent movement pattern, and is worth 500 bells. The Sea Pig has a shadow size medium, can be caught between 4pm and 9am, has a fast movement pattern and is worth 10,000 bells. And finally the Snow Crab has a shadow size large, can be caught all day long, has a fast movement pattern and is worth 6,000 bells. That's everything arriving in the Northern Hemisphere in November, let's jump over to the Southern Hemisphere and find out what's arriving there. Okay, again, let's start with the fish. First up is the frog. Shadow size 2, can be caught all day long, is found in ponds and is worth 120 bells. The catfish is a shadow size 4, can be caught between 4pm and 9am, found again in ponds and is worth 800 bells. The nibblefish is a shadow size 1, can be caught between 9am and 4pm, found in rivers and is worth 1,500 bells. The angelfish is a shadow size 2, can be caught between 4pm and 9am, is found in rivers and is worth 3,000 bells. The better is a shadow size 2, can be caught between 9am and 4pm, found in rivers and is worth 2,500 bells. The rainbow fish is a shadow size 1, can be caught between 9am and 4pm, found again in rivers and is worth 800 bells. The giant trevally is a shadow size 5, can be caught all day long, found by fishing off of your pier and is worth 4,500 bells. And finally the mahi mahi, shadow size 5, can be caught all day long, found again by fishing off of your pier and is worth 6,000 bells. Let's jump over to the bugs. First up for the Southern Hemisphere in the bugs is the Great Purple Emperor Butterfly. Can be caught between 4am and 7pm, found flying around in the air and is worth 3,000 bells. The Queen Alexandra's Birdwing Butterfly can be caught between 8am and 4pm, found again flying around in the air and is worth 4,000 bells. The Banded Dragonfly can be caught between 8am and 5pm, found flying around in the air and is worth 4,500 bells. The Pond Skater can be caught between 8am and 7pm, found on fresh water, so rivers or ponds, and is worth 130 bells. The Diving Beetle can be caught between 8am and 7pm, again found on fresh water and is worth 800 bells. 
The violin beetle can be caught all day long, found on tree stumps, and is worth 450 bells. The Rosalia Batessi beetle can be caught all day long, again found on tree stumps, and is worth 3,000 bells. And finally, the scorpion can be caught between 7pm and 4am, found scurrying around on the ground, and is worth 8,000 bells. Right, finally, let's jump over and check out the deep sea creatures for the southern hemisphere. First up is the giant gigas clam, has a shadow size large, can be caught all day long, has a very fast movement pattern, and is worth 15,000 bells. The sea urchin has a shadow size small, can be caught all day long, has a slow, consistent movement pattern, and is worth 1,700 bells. The slate pencil urchin has a shadow size small, can be caught between 4pm and 9am, has a medium, consistent movement pattern, and is worth 2,000 bells. The spotted garden eel has a shadow size medium, can be caught between 4am and 9pm, has a slow, consistent movement pattern, and is worth 1,100 bells. And finally, the Vampire Squid has a shadow size large, can be caught between 4pm and 9am, has a quick movement pattern, and is worth 10,000 bells. And that's it, that's everything arriving in Animal Crossing at the start of November. Now there are a few days left of October, so don't forget to check out my October guide for everything that's leaving Animal Crossing this month. I think we have 11 days left, so 11 days to catch anything you haven't already got that might be leaving at the end of October. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, once again please do leave a like, leave a comment and hit subscribe if you haven't already, I appreciate all that engagement, and I'll see you on the 1st of November for my video about everything leaving in November. I'll see you then, take care.